Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kessie. This is Kessie's Cuisine. <laughs> my name is Kessie and this is Kessie's Cuisine. We always satisfy your food cravings, sweet and easy, and amazing recipes. Today, I'm going to be making one of my mom's best sellers, and that is Nigerian chin chin. Please forgive the way I sound. I have blocked nostrils, and it's, it's so difficult. But we will get this video going, all right? So growing up, Nigerian chicken has been one of my favorite uh, things to snack on. But the funny thing or the irony of it is that I cannot buy chicken outside except it's being made by my mom, myself, or my sister. Anyway, I'll show you how to make my Nigerian chicken and the quantity, the measurement I use, and then let's just go into the video. So for the quantity of this chin chin, we are going to be using four cups of um, four cups of flour, like a regular cup, four, and then to that you make sure that you want to sieve your Nigerian chin chin. There is an act to making Niger the perfect Nigerian chin chin. Okay, so you want to make sure that you sift your flour very well to avoid um, grains and to give it like a very smooth feel. This is what your flour should look like when you are done sieving. And to my flour, I'm going to be adding one cup of sugar. Okay, everything is in proportions. If you do it too much, it's going to be too sweet. Or if, you're, if your dough is too sugary, you are going to know when you start frying it. So, you want to make sure that you mix your sugar and your flour very, very thoroughly. And to that, I am going to be adding um, half butter. That is two, 250 grams divided into two. That's exactly what I'm going to add. Make sure your butter is at room temperature. You want to make sure that you mix your butter into your flour very well. You mix it so well that, in fact, it is this smooth. Like, you will not even know you added butter to it. It is this smooth. And to that amount of butter, I am going to be adding half a cup of milk all right like half cup of milk i'm going to be adding one egg and now you want to get your hands dirty make sure when you are doing in fact when you want to cook make sure you always wash your hands but for nigerian station especially and especially if you have meals make sure to always wash your hands to make sure because your hands are getting like really really dirty so we want to work on our dough here the shall i say the secret to it is that you want to make sure that your dough is non-sticky make sure that your dough is not don't your dough is not supposed to be hard but then your dough is not supposed to be like soft soft you get so if you can if you, if you can notice the consistency of my dough from the video then okay but i'll keep on i'll cut my dough into smaller sizes and i'll keep working on it until i am satisfied with how it feels always um flour your surface to avoid your dough sticking and then i'm going to cut it um i'm going to roll it sorry until not so flat but um, <laughs> you are just going to see not so flat but yeah enough to make a chin chin now you want to cut your um dough into strips if you have a strip cutter fine but this is what my strips look like not so thin but not so fat you want to cut your dough into like your chin chin shape into whatever size but this is the size that i've always known <laughs> since i was growing up so people they actually make their chin chin round i don't know i don't just like the look of that anyway i cut my chin my chin chin this shape and um as you cut your chin chin make sure to flour your wherever you are keeping it even though it's going to stick together do you get but don't add too much flour because if you add too much flour it's going to affect your granite oil now we are going to add in your granite oil to your pan medium heat and make sure it is hot have a sieve like this with um a parchment paper or tissue when your granite oil is hot medium heat remember it allows your chin chin cook and it allows it gives you a very perfect golden brown color when you when you add your chin chin to your pan make sure to always use your spoon to scatter it that's immediately you put it you get you know when you cut it you you have to save it and then you put it on the fire scatter it so that it doesn't stick together this is the exact color that we are going for 
golden brown not black not lighter than this you are not, <laughs> not in fact you're looking for brown skin chin chin okay when you add then i'm repeating the process add to your hot oil make sure you use your spoon to scatter to avoid any sticking and then make sure to always check your chin chin stay it very well and then yeah golden brown color you pack it to your parchment paper to avoid it having excess oil okay um when you are frying your nigerian chin chin when you are pouring your chin chin into your oil make sure to avoid too much flour because your chin chin is going to give you this kind of residues dig it your ground oil is going to give you this residue and when your ground oil has this residue and you keep on frying your chin chin is going to start like your oil is going to start foaming and your chin chin is not going to start frying as quickly as it should do you understand so when you get a residue like this on your pan you are going to stop frying take out the oil from your pan you are not going to wash your pan take a tissue paper or like a sponge or whatever clean out this residue with something dry add in your oil back to your pan allow it to get hot just like the first time and then you're going to continue frying as normal but just like this my nigerian chin chin is ready please do subscribe to my youtube channel comment and uh yes i'll definitely see you in the next video so guys that's all for this video our nigerian chin chin has always came out the best <laughs> of the best so are you looking for a snack to netflix and chill with this festive period please try this recipe and you will thank me later i know all right see you and enjoy your holidays bye